Hello everyone. So, I'm going to do a really fast and not well put together cooking with Carly because I'm making dinner tonight and I'm bored. So tonight we're gonna be making cheese tortellini pepperoni pizza casserole. Um, I have not tried to make this before, so this is a completely new recipe. And I'm going to casually drink wine this time, not like last time. So enjoy. So for this one, we're supposed to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. So about right there. All right, so as far as ingredients go, we need 16 ounces of cheese stuffed tortellini. So I have two boxes here, so they're nine ounces each. Um, you're gonna need Italian seasoning. You're gonna need mozzarella cheese shredded. You're gonna need some Italian cheese shredded. You're gonna need Velveeta cheese. Um, you're gonna need pepperoni whole milk, olive oil, and then garlic cloves. Um, and you don't need this top potato that I have. I accidentally took it out and then I spilled it, so that was good. So, yeah. So the first of the first thing we're gonna do is cook our tortellinis. I have my tortellinis over here, and I have some my water in my pan, and I have it on high heat. So, just gonna wait for that to boil. And in the meantime, I'm going to chop our garlic. So it says to quarter an ounce of pepperonis. And so I looked at the bag on here. Wow, I can't even get this open. I looked at the bag and it said that the serving size is one ounce and it serves about, or there's about six servings per thing. So about a sixth of this bag is gonna be an ounce. But to be honest, I'll probably do a wee bit more. And I'm having issues so I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut because it's not coming apart. And there we go, now I don't have a problem. So, I'm going to cube, or not cube, quarter my pepperonis. So I forgot one really important ingredient and that is pizza sauce. So don't forget your pizza sauce. Boom, so it looks like we're getting to the boiling point. So I'm gonna put my tortellinis in there. I'm gonna put one whole box or bag or whatever you wanna call this, box, bag. Sorry, this is kind of a struggle with one hand. And then I'm gonna do another third cause this is only nine ounces and it's supposed to be 12. So there's some more. And we're gonna let those boil. So it looks like my tortellinis are done. So I'm going to dump them into the strainer. So I'm going to pour two cups of my whole milk. All right. 
right, and now I'm going to cube up my Velveeta cheese. Oh boy. This is kind of gross. Not the biggest Velveeta fan, but it'll do since uh, that's what the recipe calls for. So now, I'm going to put my tortellinis and my pepperoni together, my quartered pepperoni, and then I'm going to mix them together. Alright. So now we have this. So now I'm going to add my tablespoon of olive oil into this pan, probably around medium heat. And I'm going to add my garlic to that. So while that's sizzling in there, I am going to prep my cheese. Um, you're doing the shredded Italian blend, not the mozzarella. Oops, and I'm spilling all over. For the first one here, and also the Velveeta is going to go in here. Ah, cheese mishap. Oh, nice. So we just got a block. So basically use the whole bag if you got one of these. I don't know. Um... And then you're going to be using a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So I have that all ready to go. And my Velveeta over here. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to stir and mix until it's turning golden brown. So right now we're still pretty whitish yellow, normal garlic color. We're getting there because I don't want it to burn. I think I'm going to add the milk now. So you're going to pour your two cups of whole milk in and then you're also going to put your half teaspoon of Italian seasoning in if I can get it with one hand. Oh yeah, there's my half a teaspoon. That's also going to go in and you're going to stir that up. So then what you're going to do here is continue to let this kind of boil until you reach your milk steaming and it, I think it starts to get a little bit thicker and then you're going to add your cheeses. So yeah, we'll come back when that happens. Alright, so I'd say the milk is steaming so you're supposed to turn down the temperature on the burner which I've already done. I'm down to about a five or six and I was on like a seven or eight before. I'm gonna turn down a little bit more to about four. Now it wants you to add the Velveeta cheese. So I'm gonna start adding Velveeta into here. Still add in Velveeta because I only have one hand. Um, and then it also says to add the shredded cheese. So here comes the shredded cheese. And that big chunk. And then you're going to stir. And then you are supposed to stir until melted. And then once it's melted, um, you can turn off the heat, but keep the pot on the burner. So I'm just casually stirring here. Just stirring away. I can tell that the cheese is still melting a little bit. 
so I'm gonna keep stirring. Okay. And my wine's getting a little empty, so get a little bit more. Oh, so close to finishing the bottle, so we're just gonna do it. Empty. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna turn the heat off. And, but you're gonna keep it on the burner and then you're gonna pour in your tortellini and pepperoni mixture. And then you're gonna stir for one minute and then you'll be able to transfer into a casserole dish. So I'm gonna do that. So this is what the mixture is going to look like right now. Um, as you can see, there's some nice tortellinis and pepperonis, and they're all nice and covered in this lovely cheesy Velveeta Italian mixture. All right. You're being loud. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get beer. I put beer in the fridge. All right. So next, we are going to pour our mixture into a casserole pan. Lovely. Just like that. And I'm gonna get all the cheese in here because it's so good. Alright, so that's done. And then you kind of gotta spread it out like normal casseroles. And then what we are going to do next is oh I, I gotta get a spoon. I gotta dollop pizza sauce onto it dollop it says dollop how do you dollop like this this is how you dollop pizza sauce <laughs> so casually dolloping oh it was only supposed to be a half a cup <laughs> that's not a half a cup yet i don't think no <laughs> They're taking videos of me. So shout out to uh, Carter and my mom for taking videos of me. I wasn't. They're giving away Cooking with Carly before it's even out. All right. So there's my dolloped pizza sauce. And now I need to swirl into cheesy tortellini without fully mixing. So this is gonna be rough. <laughs> this is really like not doing much, I feel like, but it's fine. Here's me swirling it. See my nice charging cord in there? Swirl. All right. I'm gonna call that swirled, I think. And then next we're gonna layer slices of pepperonis on top and top with mozzarella cheese. So next, we're gonna do full pepperonis this time instead of quarter ones. And you're just kinda kinda like lay them on here, kinda like making a pizza, except for a little bit closer together. Well, I mean, I put them that close together when I'm making a pizza, but normal people don't, so I'm not normal, and we know, all know that. And they're laughing at me. And, sure, I'm just casually lining the top of my thing is the brown. So this is what we have now. And next I'm going to put mozzarella cheese on top. So I'm only supposed to do a cup, but I'm probably not even gonna use the measuring cup and I'm just gonna layer the top with mozzarella cheese because that makes more sense to me than listening to the directions. So this is what it's going to look like before you put it in the oven and we will skip ahead to when I pull it out of the oven. You're going to bake for I believe 25 minutes and then you're going to broil on high for three to four minutes to brown. Alright so this is what it looks like when it's done. And I'm going to serve it, so 
cheers to a uh, tortellini pizza casserole. The end. You didn't seem to think so. I did. How is it? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Carter's trying to tell me. We already started. <laughs> oh, she started filming me, and that's what she meant. <laughs> don't do it, Julie. Don't do it? No. Don't eat it, or don't what? I think there's rat poison in it. I don't know, it smells awful good. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Is that cold yet? Because <laughs> be... you only like food when it's cold. Yeah, right. Yeah, you I can't feel like I need to do something room. else and I just can't. I think you enough, need to so. sit down and eat. You have to give a review. Actually, you have to move your tea. Wait, never mind. Okay, I will. No, that's fine. No, that's <laughs> right. For real? For real. For real. I'd like to say, Brooke Miller Plumbing is. What was I supposed to say? <laughs> You're supposed to give your review first. Oh, yeah, my review Remember first. Remember your review first and then brought to you. Okay, by. Brooke Miller Plumbing is an awesome plumbing company. You should hire them at every chance you get. Am I good yet? Am I good? How about now? Review of the food, Dad. Oh, wait a minute. You make your piece with pepperoni. Oh, smooth. <laughs> that tastes like pepperoni. <laughs> she thinks that. Right. And this here <laughs> tastes pretty good too. <laughs> so I think you should get on over here and have some of this because it's really good. <laughs> Brought to you by Brooke Mueller Plumbing. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> What's no, he's in a better mood than his usual. It works. That's his kind of crap. Please don't. Don't, take, don't film me eating. I just, it's just not good. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take that by you? I got one pepperoni, yeah. Am I on there too? No. <laughs> So you want a good reaction or what do you want? Yeah. Just my reaction? Yeah. Okay. It tastes like pizza. Mm-hmm. Cheese pizza with pepperoni. It just tastes like pizza. <laughs> Gee, thanks for your expert opinions. Like good pizza? It's good though. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> now that I'm slanted it this way, I can see it. I really enjoy it. <laughs> you can see my bowl spleen. <laughs> Okay. Ringo, would you like to do a review? Yeah, except for you've got it facing this you way. No, I don't. Ringo, what would you like to say about the food? Was it good? Ringo. Yes, Carly, it was Ringo. good. Ringo. Ringo, was the food good? <laughs> oh, this is twisty. I thought it was a cork. I thought it was going to take a video. <laughs> yeah, we're all looking at you. We can't handle the flirtiness. <laughs> That's probably not you know, helping any. 20 years ago, I'd have done a backflip right here. A backflip? Back back Mom, could he ever do a backflip? Like yeah, I, I, I don't know do if I would have landed on my feet, but I would have done it. He <laughs> could do a backflip off the back of the boat. No. Not on land. When you were younger? Never done that in my life. <laughs>
Oh, wait a minute. That was me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. I used to do it all the time. I used to do back somersaults on the diving board. <laughs> well, that's with the bay liner. I, I put my, or the boat. I put my slalom ski on, and I'd stand there, and I'd flip off the back of the boat <laughs> as Mom took off. Yeah, no. And the rope well, in I'm hand, sure. you know, and then off I go. Just like that. It was amazing. Barefoot. You should have got that on, got that on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Am I flirting you yet, honey? <laughs> Were you done. getting the whiskey or something? Oh, yeah, because I'm, <laughs> for fact, I was. <laughs> okay, I'm out, I'm, I thought I'm I recognized this guy. I'm buffing the boat for the last two years. You should evenings, have you know? whiskey yeah. more often. <laughs> and I got to the back, and, you know, I buffed up the back, and finally, you, know, you said dinner was ready. I'm thinking, I got an empty stomach. Whiskey would be good right now. <laughs> an empty stomach. So yeah, so then I went in there and took a swig, and just a little swig, but bam. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, how many little swigs? Just one, actually. Can but you turn it into a lightweight? Boom, right to the head. And On an empty stomach. Empty stomach, yeah. I know. Can't be north, and tomorrow's probably the last day. The <laughs> last day of what? Life, because it's so good right now. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <Get it>. Wow. <laughs>